Okay, so here's another cool end of chapter 12 problem. So we've got europium, um, which crystallizes in a body-centered cubic lattice. And we've got the density, and we want to calculate the unit edge length in picometers. So the first thing we have to do is decide um, what exactly a body-centered cubic structure looks like. And so we're on about um, a unit cell that's a cube. And the cool thing about the cubic ones, right, is that they've got a length of one side that if you cube it is equal to the volume. So what's body-centered cubic? Uh, well in body-centered cubic what you have is an atom at each one of the corners and if you look carefully that atom doesn't go all the way inside the cube it's actually only one-eighth of the way in there. And the reason is, is you can stack eight cubes together and at each corner that one atom would be shared one-eighth and if we want to figure out how much is inside the cube, we have to take those eight atoms at the eight corners, and we've got to multiply by the fraction that's actually inside the cube. And so at the corners, even though it looks like we've got eight atoms there, each one's only one-eighth of the way in. So that only contributes one atom per unit cell. Um, so what's the body in body center cubic? That just means that there's another one in the body in the center. And of course, since it's inside the cell, it is 100% contained. And that means that when we add these up, we've got two europium atoms in our unit cell. Okay, so that's cool. So what else are we given in the problem? We're given the density, and of course we know density is mass over volume, and density is one of those intensive properties. So the density of the unit cell is the same as the density of a large lump of europium. Um, so we're given the density. Oh, well, let's check that off. And we can figure out the mass as long as we can find the mass of two europiums. And so that means that we can solve for the volume. And so we can just rearrange and say volume is mass over density. Uh, we're told the density. We better calculate the mass now. So we got two atoms of europium, and we need to find the mass. So the first thing to do is find europium on the periodic table. It's pretty close to the bottom. It's in the inner transition metals, element 63, and average atomic mass 152. So if we've got two atoms of europium, we can figure out how heavy this would be in grams by converting to moles. Um, so a mole of anything, whether it's donuts or atoms, is just 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of them. And that okay, gives us moles and we want to convert moles to grams, well, we know that 152 is the molar mass, and so one mole of europium atoms would weigh 152 grams. And, of course, we're going to get a really tiny number here, right? And so we're dividing by Avogadro's number. That's going to make something incredibly small. And if you do the math, you're ending up with 5.048 times 10 to the negative 22nd of a gram. So we know volume is mass over density. We've just solved for the mass and we're told the density in the problem and the density was 5.26 grams per cubic centimeter and so we can see the grams cancel. We're left with 1 over 1 over centimeters cubed so that's just going to have units of centimeters cubed, right? And if we crunch the numbers, we get a very small 9.597 times 10 to the minus 23rd centimeters cubed. All right, what were we asked for in the problem? Um, we had to find A, the length of the unit cell. And, of course, we know that for unit cells that are cubic, um, a cubed is the volume. So now we've just found the volume. So if we want to find A by itself, we just need to form the cubed root of the volume. And so if we take the cubed root of our number above, uh, we get ooh, 
4.58 times 10 um, to the minus 8. And what are the units? Well, if we are cube rooting centimeters cubed, we're going to be left with centimeters. Um, so we're pretty much done at this point. So the last thing we've got to do is convert that to picometers. And so we can do that conversion a couple of different ways. I mean, if you happen to know how many picometers in a centimeter, um, which you may know, I don't know, you can do it in one step. But I would probably start off by saying, well, you know, what does centi mean? Centi just means 10 to the minus 2. So a centimeter is 10 to the minus 2 of a meter. And that converts centimeters to meters. And now you're at your base unit. And so we want to get meters into picometers. Well, what's pico mean? Pico just means 10 to the minus 12. Pico anything. So picometers are 10 to the minus 12 of a meter. And you can see that the 10 to the minus 2 divided by 10 to the minus 12 is going to be like um, what dividing by 10 to the minus 10. And anyway, if you crunch the numbers, you get 458. And everything's canceled apart from picometers. So our units must be picometers at this point. And so this is the answer.